Okay, we have a few more things for you. Up next, we have Baptiste, uh, who will follow up a bit on the presentation you saw in the beginning, uh, using the EB to map the Matterhorn. He's gonna give a brief demonstration of how the EB uh, autonomous flight control software works. So, ladies and gentlemen, get it for Baptiste Tupad. Yeah, uh, unfortunately I was not part of the amazing project Mapping the Impossible, but what I will do today is actually teach you how to map the impossible, okay? So basically, if you want to map the impossible, or at least in that specific case, you need to be a SenseFly employee. And being a SenseFly employee, it means that you have to know that the company was founded in 2009 and that we are now a parrot company since June 2012. You have to be one of the 50 employees of SenseFly and you have to know that our mini drones for professional use, they are one of the lightest and the easiest to use drones on the market, okay? The second thing that you need to have to map the impossible is that box. And inside that box, you have the EV. And actually, all that you need to map the impossible is inside that box. So you have the EV with the detachable wings. So before every mission, you have to play a bit Lego and assemble the wings. And that's actually all set. Inside the EV you have that 16 megapixels camera and you have also all you need to have a fully autonomous flight from takeoff to landing. The um, landing is also autonomous because on the bottom of the aircraft we have, I don't know if you can see it, that optical ground sensor that will automatically de detect the distance to the ground and it will then land gently on the ground, okay? And you need also that little transmitter that you will just plug to your laptop and it will communicate in real time with the EB so that you can monitor in real time the behavior of the EB and check the flight parameters. And what you need also is Emotion2, which is our flight management software. And Emotion2 actually is very easy to use and it brings a lot of safety because we have implemented in it a lot of safety features. And actually the reason why uh, SenseFly is also a parrot company is because we try to do the most easiest software as possible. I mean, anybody can just take the EV out, that, out of that box, run the Emotion2 software, and then be able to simulate, monitor, and do a flight and that in all the safety conditions. So let's just put that scenario. So imagine that we are in 2012 during the Paris Le Bourget Air Show and that actually the French Aviation Authority has given you the authorization to do a mapping of the display showcase during that exposition, okay? So what you need to do is actually use two drones. Then what I will do is set the walking area radius in order to keep the visual line of sight and also set the walking area sailing. I will then adjust my flight lines at the resolution that I want and you will automatically adjust the flight lines and the trajectory of the UAV. If I want to use an absolute waypoint altitude, I just have to click here and you will upload all the topographic information of the area and map my flight in 3D, okay? So what I need to do is upload it and just in case, so <laughs> usually it works like a little bit faster, but anyway, that's fine. So if I want to Upload it here <laughs> once again. Okay, so as with every demo, we have a little problem. All right. 
So let's, do, let's just set the flying area. And upload it. And when I upload it, All right, so now that's the Wi-Fi. <coughs> I love Windows. <laughs> but anyway. So once I did that, what I can do is to simulate the flight. So I usually go to my start waypoint. It will automatically go there. And from there, I will be able to let the EB go to the first web point of the flight. And it will actually check all the flight information, like the wind speed, and adjust its trajectory depending on the wind conditions, go to the first web point, and start taking pictures. <coughs> what I will do at that time is adjust my landing zone in order to be sure that I will not just crash into an obstacle when I do the landing, OK? So you see on that map, you can actually have every picture footprint. So it will give you the information where the picture was taken. And actually, after a flight, using the GPS of the aircraft, you will have a reconstruction process to stitch all those pictures to together and create a 2D and 3D elevation model. And if you want to add another drone, you can just load it. Program is flight plan as well. And launch it as well in the air. So you can monitor multi drone operations. All right? So you can hear that sound every time the EB takes a picture. And then for the landing, the EB will automatically go above the landing zone, monitoring the wind conditions and adjusting the trajectory in order to land in the safest conditions 50, 40, possible. 30, 20, 10. And you hear the different altitude for the final approach. And now let's have a look at the results that we get with that specific scenario. So during the um, Le Bourget Air Show in 2012. the autopilot inside the aircraft that will automatically monitor the flight. You see the flight lines, you see in real time the position of each aircraft in case you use multi-drone, and that's the result that you get on the pictures. So you see the results that we get, in fact, with the processing software that is uh, part of the global EB solution is orthomosaics, it means 2D georeferenced geotip files, so that's the orthomosaic. I mean, almost 600 pictures stitched together and georeferenced. It allows you to calculate distance, for example. And you generate also a point cloud, as you see with the Matterhorn. So those point clouds, they are really useful because then you can calculate volume. You can also have like path or topography of the terrain. And then the smooth landing thanks to the optical ground sensor. And that's the 3D terrain reconstitution with the post-flight Terra software powered by PIX40. The preparation time for a mission like this is less than five minutes. Then you have almost like 30 minutes flight and you get those results after two hours processing. 
So it, it makes it really easy for every professional to get accurate data on the area he wants, like for agriculture, mining, or even construction. Thanks for your attention.